Hi, I'd like to do a video here on feelings and how some of us, the tapping is creating more of the same. In that I mean we're tapping on something and we don't feel like we're getting a release or a strong enough release. And I notice this in clients that I work with and it also happened with myself where it gets to a point where there's a sensation we just don't want to feel. And I think for many of us we start to realise how you know you tap on all the memories and um, all the different events that show up and it got to a point where ultimately it's a feeling that we we don't want to feel. That's all it is. It's just the feeling. So it's finding a way then to allow yourself to feel that because Fast EFT teaches us this is all about resistance. We're looking for the resistance. Whatever we resist persists. And so it gets to the point where it's the feeling that we're resisting. Now, by just saying, let it go, let it go, let it go, let it go, on that feeling, we're kind of doing more of the same. Because the message is, I don't want to feel it, I don't want to go there, <laughs> just let it go. Um, and that can be really effective for some people. Some people are so fast, they'll just tap, let it go, cleared. But for many people, especially people that suffer from anxiety, this is where they get stuck. Because they're just focusing on this feeling that they really don't want to feel and they're just let it go I don't want to feel it you know let it go let it go it's kind of this frantic like I don't want to feel that feeling oh, you know grabbing your wrist peace um it's still going to be powerful it's still going to help because you're interrupting the pattern you're creating movement which is you know when we're in that um fear response we're usually frozen so at least you're creating this movement and when you're grabbing your wrist and saying peace Hopefully you're going to peace or something that makes you feel good. So you're interrupting that pattern. That's very, very powerful. But another really, really powerful uh, um, approach is to go towards that feeling. Now, I knew this stuff when I when I started suffering from panic attacks before I even found Fast DFT. But ultimately it was like, well, how am I meant to feel this? Because I remember people saying, just let it be there. And all the books that I read were just embrace it, allow it, you know. And... When you're suffering from panic attack, I'm, well, maybe some people can, but I could not. I just didn't know how. It was so huge. I felt like I'd be consumed and I'd die and there was no way in. Um, many years later, um, I started to learn, well, I was learning as I was going along, ways of going towards that feeling that made it safer and easier. I remember once even when I was I was at work and something really triggered me and I was doing the whole let it go, let it go. And I noticed it was a very strong feeling and I was just, let it go, let it go, let it go. And suddenly I had this epiphany of realising what I was doing and changing those words to, it's okay to feel this, it's okay to feel this. And in that moment I had this release and um, I suppose that was kind of, part two of of learning how to feel my feelings and finding ways to do that. Um, I then learned some techniques from things like focusing and my dear friend Marina who really taught me a lot was just to allow yourself to so for instance I'll give you an example so you have this feeling and maybe it's really strong particularly for when it's really strong notice where it is in your body and also notice the chair supporting you or whatever you're sitting on Noticing the ground beneath your feet. Noticing sounds around you. So you're just getting a bit grounded first. And then just go notice where that sensation is in your body. There might be a few sensations. And notice how it's just a part. It's not all of you, it's just a part of you. And you might want to say something like, there's something here, or there's a part of me that feels whatever the feeling is, you're creating that distance. So already that's helping you access it. Instead of saying, I'm scared, you're saying there's something here that feels scared. You can even then take it a step further, take the label off it. Um, thank you, Marina, for that one. <laughs> take the label off it and just notice it as pure sensation or energy or whatever you want to call it. Um, and notice that coming out of the mind stuff and just as best you can, noticing the mind, thanking the mind, coming back to that sensation, noticing what's there, and you can tap as you do that, and just turning towards it. And I like to imagine, 
like I'm just being there for it, just sending it kindness, actually, being kind with it and compassionate. And this to me is about loving oneself. You know, I've heard so many, st so many, or read so many things about how, you know, you need to learn to love yourself. And I didn't, I knew what that meant, but how? <laughs> you know, you just, oh, I love myself. That's not going to happen. And I realised a big part of this for me about loving myself is actually making peace with those parts or those sensations that I did not want to feel and then labelled as bad so when we start to lean towards those, we're making peace with ourselves. And when we make peace with ourselves, we're starting to love ourselves. Um, but yeah, so let's back to how we're going to do that. So so again, I'll just lead you through it. So if, see if you can find a sensation in your body you really don't want to feel. Or that's just there. That's maybe a bit uncomfortable. And so I can feel something in my stomach. And I'm going to tap now. So it's a bit different to straightforward fast EFT and just notice that sensation. And I'm going to get really curious. I really want to know what this sensation is like. The best way to describe it, as if I'm seeing it with fresh eyes and ears and sensation, what is it like? So it seems to me like a scrunchy ball energy coming off it. I'm just going towards that and allowing it to be as scrunchy as it likes to be. And this is really effective if there's like a really dense sort of energy or pushing or something like that. You can encourage it. So oh yeah, just make it even stronger. And you'll find that when you do that, it cannot stay because the only thing that keeps it there is our resistance to it in the first place. This is so exciting because <laughs> it means we lean towards it or we allow it to be there. It just moves. It just moves through us. It's us holding it. I don't want to feel it. I don't want it to be there. Please don't be here. And actually when we just look at it, okay, you can be here. <laughs> we'll make it stronger. It just has to move. It just has to. And so, yeah, and the other thing you can do is if it's really big, just like, just notice your breathing. Just making room for it with your breath. And just noticing that something that's there. Take the label off it. Noticing that you're being supported, the chair supporting you, the ground supporting you. And tapping if you like as you go. And just notice it. And you're not trying to get rid of it, you're just sitting with it. Like you're interested. It's like it's a friend and you're there for it. And you may not notice your mind start bringing you all these stories. So just again, thank the mind. Thank you. Notice that. You don't have to feed into it and come back to the sensation in your body again. And then, you know, you can interrupt that every now and again. Grab your wrist. Take a deep breath in. Peace. And think of something that makes you feel good. Remember the times when you felt supported? Anything like that that's going to make you feel good. Just allow yourself to feel that moment. Or just notice that you're here. And that you're safe. And that it's just a feeling. It can't kill you. It's just a sensation. It wants to be heard. And then you can go back to it and address it again. And there's lots of different ways to do that. But I hope that's helped. And um, if you want to learn more, then... For me, what I found really powerful was the book The Power of Focusing by Anne Cornell Weiser. Um, there's another really good book called... What's it called? The Happiness Trap by Russ, and I can't remember his second name. Um, that is also got some great tools like that in there that you can use. Um, and the other thing that I've talked about before is practising mindfulness. Because when you do this, you know, even like just do one minute, one minute every now and again or something. Because the more you do this, you're creating this stability. So it means when these big emotions do come, it's easier for you to have that stability. And it's easier for you to access them and let them move through. And there's a lot of research out there now about mindfulness and how powerful it is and how you it affects, you know, literally they're showing how it affects your brain and how you 
well, I can't remember all the details, but look it up. It's it's really interesting. Um, and the other book that is really helpful and powerful is um, Natural Rest by Scott Killaby. Thank you, Marina, for that. Okay, so I hope that helps.